I don't think a human can appreciate this enough. Not unless they leave the place from time to time. While I was living in the city, we would come here every Saturday and Sunday. And, and I would fully feel the smells of the countryside, the scents, the place. I was just like... And then we moved here, my boyfriend and I. And I just became home. And you have this every day. And sometimes I don't even leave the house to look around, to take a walk, to enjoy the nature. You don't, like, as long as you have something, you don't appreciate it as much as you do when you don't have it or when you lose it or before you have it. So it's a conscious game. Like, you have to play this game of reminding yourself. I don't know why human brains are like this. I have no idea. I really don't. But yeah, I just got back from the city. Dinal and I, we just went shopping because my cousin is getting married this Saturday and I basically have nothing to wear. I don't do fancy stuff. I kind of got lazy in that field. I spent the past six years just wearing the same stuff I bought back in 2017 before I went to Japan. So we went shopping today. And for the first time in like six years, I got myself some new high heels and I don't even wear that stuff, you know? Anyway, it, the city just brought so much pressure on top of us. Every time I go to the city for a few, I'm telling you for a few hours, it's not days or weeks, I'm talking hours. I come back running here. Come back running here. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm not gonna even take a shower. I'm just gonna go get myself some hot chocolate, sit here in a blanket, just enjoy it. the ending of the day. And you know, as much as I hate going to the city, I have to force myself to sometimes because this place feels completely different when I get back. Completely different. So, yeah. I don't like spending time in the city. But, still, my city is pretty. It really is. Like, it's called Mostar. <laughs> it's the prettiest city in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. For real. People call it the Bosnian California. Because... We're at around 52, 53 Celsius degrees in the summer. And some people say that that's not even the real, the right, the real temperature. They don't show us the real temperature. The real one is around 62 Celsius degrees. And I have a friend working at the airport. He told me that, like, it's not 52. Don't let him fool you, it's 62. I'm like, what the fuck? It's really hot. It's like, you know, it's California type, Dubai type. Ah. <sighs> And it's, it's um, September right now, September 19th, right? And um, it's around 125 to 30 degrees. I'm telling you, crazy, really hot, really hot. Thank you, God, for making sure I have this place. I've prayed for it so hard. I've prayed for it so long and so hard. And I hope you guys... I don't know, find peace like I did. And even when you find peace, it's going to take time for you to get used to it. You know, I already said that in a previous video. But yeah, I just hope you find peace. I hope you find a place that you can run back to after a long, crazy day in the city. A place that is this silent, a place that is this calming. Just beautiful. I'll go edit this video now. I have to post it as soon as possible and... Uh... Hope you subscribe and like and share this video with whomever needs it. Oh, that's my boyfriend. He does that. Dude, I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <sighs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna enjoy hot chocolate and editing this video right now. I'm gonna enjoy...
course I farted. <laughs> God.